All right, behind. All right, everybody raise their hand. Sorry. You're good. Okay, hang on. Are you put your hands down. We're proving we're real people. Okay, hang on a minute. Trying to get my camera good. He said he wanted it zoomed in a tad. Okay. So you had to buy a stand for this class? No, I bought, I had it originally. Okay. I just haven't been utilizing it. Can you look and see if it sees me? <laughs> Please. Am I not cut off? You're good. Good? Go that way just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Dr. Mark Schoenfield with Yale Medicine 2024 wrote up to 3 million Americans live with pacemakers, 70% of them being at least 65 years of age or older. In the next few minutes, I would like to describe to you the two vital overall factors that would warrant a needing a pacemaker. I have worked in cardiology going on four years. I was in electrophysiology for three years and I'm at a uh, local hospital on the cardiac floor currently. Over the past few years, an increase in the number of people needing pacemakers is on the rise. Two overall factors that would warrant someone needing a pacemaker are certain types of arrhythmias and heart failure. First, we will look at the aspects of the certain types of arrhythmias and then second, we will discuss heart failure. <laughs> Now that we've introduced the aspects, I'll be talk, talking about regarding pacemakers. <laughs> Let's look at the first one, the certain types of arrhythmias. Pacemakers require certain types of arrhythmias in order to qualify for needing one. Most common reading, reasons for needing one are too slow of a heart rate, which is bradycardia, or having heart pauses. Bradycardia is when your heart beats too slow, causing a need for medical treatment, such as a pacemaker. Hound MK with the Mayo Clinic, May of 2022, stated bradycardia treatment may include lifestyle changes, medication management, or an implanted device called a pacemaker. Hound MK states that when other treatment options have failed or symptoms are severe enough, a pacemaker device is necessary to control the heart rhythm. Bradycardia is when the resting adult heart rate is lower than 60 beats per minute, which is below the normal range of 60 to 100 beats per minute. Elderly are typically the ones prone to bradycardia. However, physical condition plays a factor in a patient's bradycardia regardless of age. So keep moving so those hearts keep pumping. Not only is bradycardia an, uh, an arrhythmia that causes a need for a pacemaker, having heart pauses diagnosed is also a need for one. Daniel Miller with National Le Library of Medicine, June 2023, stated that sinus pauses refer to a delay in generating and propagating the electrical <laughs> current within the sinus node of the heart. Daniel Miller states that these pauses can temporarily cease the heartbeat and typically characterized by an absence of P waves on an EKG. Frequent pauses that happen over a long period of time, a person may need a pacemaker. Heart pauses of greater than three seconds usually need investigation for treatment. Now that we've discussed needing a pacemaker for certain arrhythmia, arrhythmias, let us talk about needing a pacemaker for heart failure. Some patients suffering from heart failure may end up needing a pacemaker to help pump the blood and slow the progression of heart failure. Heart failure is, a, is when your lower chambers, the ventricles, aren't able to pump as much blood that your body needs in order to survive. Health Wife staff, June of 2023, stated a pacemaker for heart failure can help a patient feel better so they can do their daily activities by slowing the progression to help patients live longer. The pacemaker sends pulse signals to make the ventricles pump the same time to help the, the heart pump better. Getting a pacemaker for heart failure provides, providers look at patient's ejection fraction, which also measures, measures the blood pumping through the left ventricle. The normal range is greater than 55%. In heart failure, the left ventricle often gets too big as it tries to make up for pumping. A pacemaker can slow down this change or help the ventricle go back to a norm more normal size. Slowing the progression of heart failure is one of the reasons for a pacemaker. Heart Matters Magazine states having a weakly pumping heart 
makes daily activities hard to keep up. Life expectancy for heart failure continues to increase with the evolution of the pacemaker technology. Heart failure with symptoms of shortness of breath, fatigue, frequent urination, sleep issues, and edema, which is swelling, becomes harder to manage. The sooner for treatment will help slow the progression. Heart failure affects over 5 million Americans. Now that we've discussed the two aspects of needing a pacemaker, let's conclude. <sighs> two vital overall factors that warrant needing a pacemaker was discussed. Over the past few years, there's an increased number in people needing pacemakers. And overall, two factors that warrant someone needing one was arrhythmias in the heart and heart failure. Okay. Dr. Mark Scherfel with Yale Medicine 2024 wrote up to 3 million Americans live with pacemakers and 70% of them are 65 years of age or older. Thank you. Okay. I'm gonna show my note cards. You gotta show them your note cards? Yeah, well, after, I was supposed to show it after. Oh. So then I'll only show it to There's number five, there's number three. There's number four, there's number one, number two.